Good morning. We all live, but in true sense, do we actually define life? Though in literal sense, it is distinguishing factor between animals and plants from matter. In real sense, for each one of us, it may differ. Let's see it closely in different facets and try to touch and feel it. Finding the best in our neighborhood is entirely personal endeavor. This is Vasant Kuj in South Delhi, India. We'll go first to the pharmacy come convenience store that operates 24-7 and then second to fruits and vegetables outlet, again open 24-7. Needless to say, our lifeline all through the lockdowns. Third, we will briefly stop at the Gurudwara where I have been going for almost 140 days and will tell you why. And fourth, today we will go to Sanjayvan, the latter two being lifelines but in a different way. It is 5.15 am now and we will end at 7.30 am or so. Why so early in the morning? Because the real life starts along with the sunrise. Indeed, let me pick up my wallet and mask and leave spectacles and car keys for later in the day. So, we are here at our first halt, the pharmacy. Let's go inside and talk to the gentleman who greets with a smile behind his mask every time I come here, Mr. Mohammed Nawaz. Sir, you have been on the job every day, 24-7, 365 days. What is the message you would like to give to the people? We are here day and night and we hope every medicine of ours save patients lives. Thank you so much. God bless him. We will keep picking up some beautiful shots as we go along. I call these blossoming flowers as the nature's bouquets and quite deters people plucking these. But then each one of us have freedom of expression. There will be endless of these as we go along. The sun will be rising shortly and sky is clear. So we are lucky to get a beautiful view in the east. The horizon is becoming breathtakingly beautiful. Behind these lovely clouds is the tremendous source of energy known to the mankind. We have now arrived at the fruit and vegetable vendor with a small convenience store tucked inside. They are also doing a tremendous work 24-7 and deserve our wishes and blessings. There is another vegetable and dairy and milk products shop just a hop away and from there just a stone's throw is the Gurudwara. Today we will take a bow from outside as we have to head towards the Sanjayvan about 4 kilometers away. Along the way I will narrate to you how this Gurudwara has been a my West for me, quite literally, since 16th March, all along the COVID times and still continues to be. So, I had taken a personal challenge for 2020 to complete a 10 km walk daily. And upped it through January at 10.4 km and February at 11.5 km average. On 16th March, immediately after our return from Jaipur, where some COVID-19 positive Italian cases were diagnosed, I realized that something very, very bad is going to hit the humanity. I did not have a clue what to do with my schedule of walks and the family and friends spread all over the world. So. I decided to pay a visit to this Gurudwara daily to pray and to meditate. Needless to say that God has been very kind. Lockdowns came from 22nd March, but 
in the early hours, nobody questions a lone walker. With a very little human interference, I experienced that the nature came to its full glory in all these months, rather all over the world. Saw the AQI in Delhi dropping from 999 levels in some parts of Delhi to 91 in the mornings even after unlock 2. I kept walking and walking to up my average to 12 kilometers in April, 12.2 kilometers in May, 12.5 kilometers in June and 12.7 kilometers in July as of now. While for the others life slid back in the mornings, my wife and I, yes, she also gets up with me in the mornings. We are absolutely loving the early morning schedule. Today is precisely 139th day. As you can see, the love keeps on getting more passionate. We gained a reputation of being early birds amongst the family and friends. So, the sun is now visible and through the trees it looks like it is smiling at us. Does it not seem so? We have reached the outside of Biodiversity Park through which we will be entering Sanjay 1. This small lake called Nila Hawes is now fully covered with leaves and gives such a picturesque view. This seems like my personal entrance to the protected area and soon we will reach another lake. So this is the lake that connects the biodiversity park and Sanjay 1. We are now on the other end, into Sanjay 1 and I'll let the nature talk to you directly and let the camera be your eyes. It is time to head back now. Upon arrival at home, the first thing I attend is the waste disposal collected in two bags. One thing great about Indians is that they simplify everything. We have divided the garbage into only two parts. Dry, that should be recycled, so kept for a pickup, and the wet one. Well, packing this along with the dry makes both useless. Mind it, it has life in it. No, seriously. It is criminal to contain and thus suffocate and kill inside polymer bags. Rather, compost it to make our own manure for using in the personal terrace garden and beyond that in the plants around our home. That is the best way to channelize life as against creating mounds of disposal around the cities. Well, Delhi is notorious for these. If I am given an opportunity to change something, I will ban disposable polymers worldwide. We did have life without these some 30 years back, isn't it? Don't I deserve to relax in the upper terrace with a warm large cup of tea with all the condiments recommended as an anti-covid drink with 
cinnamon, basil, ginger, black pepper, clove and honey etc. Followed by some stretching and yoga with Baba Ramdev from 8 to 8.40 am who has been coming on the India TV since the start of this pandemic. By 9 am I suppose I have already earned to be treated like a king with sumptuous breakfast. To sum up the morning, I love nature, food and travel. However, as travel has been a casualty, the other two have taken the front seat. So, the dawn's takeaway. Nature is my origin and the ultimate destiny as well. I kept three tasks for today. The first one is transform from five months of accumulation of believe it or not hair. So here I go. Had plenty of time to have tete a tete with Mr. Firasat Hussain Elias Saif. He had tough time all through the lockdowns as the saloons were not allowed to operate. While having a free hand on my hair and beard, he told a few stories why he could not go to his native place and chose to remain stay put at Delhi all along. I asked him about how the life had been and his response was quite touching to say the least. Keeping my moustache was Saif's choice and I did not want to not let him be happy. Coming back, it felt as if I had offloaded immense weight off my head. The late morning's takeaway, transform so as to stay alive. Another thing I lined up for today was to meet and greet a friend, a neighbor, Dilip Kripalani, who undergone COVID. In fact, he and his son both recovered and now they are plasma donors. So off I go. My son caught fever and it was a prolonged fever for five, six days. Mm -hmm. And as we got him tested for COVID, probably he came out, he came negative. But as soon as he was negative, my mother, myself and my younger son, we caught the fever. And that was the sign when we thought we are under the COVID congestion. As we got affected, we first instantly thought this is a war to begin and we have to fight it out and win it. Instantly, as I recovered, my first instinct was whatever I have received when I was ill, I should give this all preachings to everybody who needs it. God saved me and I wanted this life to be for others now. So you helped uh, some people also? I have about 15-16 friends in my circle with whom I told every each and every part how to do it in a home quarantine and they have all recovered. Mine saying is do not be feared this is a prolonged fever and this will go away with your own confidence. And no need for uh, even uh, going to hospital, you can... No, not at all. We have got different symptoms. My son had throat infection and uh, no smelling power, no taste buds. We all had throat infection, we had fever. My wife has suffered 100% uh, pneumonia. We have done everything at home with a nursing assistant, we have done intravenous at home, we have, have oxygen cylinders, we have oximeters, whatever best hospital can do we have done at home and we are successful today by the grace of God and our friends. I have seen life as well as death right under my nose and I am very very thankful to God that I have been, I have recovered from COVID and I owe to my friends, to God, this life. So I donated my plasma with my son which anybody can donate in every any 15 days time you get recovery in two days there is no weakness at all so i want to give my plasma again after 15 days to save lives which god has given to us today is the first time i met dilip after he recovered and donated plasma the meeting was an eye opener though media and social media is full of corona getting it straight from the horse's mouth is most authentic.
after a cold shower on a sultry and humid monsoon afternoon a chilled glass of beer was the order of the day thinking over the beer my biggest fear i personally believe that overpopulation is pushing nature to the brink for it to retaliate and it is doing so with more and more ferocity but we are not listening carefully the noon takeaway life manifests in others in more ways than one after a much needed siesta now it is time to attend to final leg in fact there are two parts the first one is that we have not eaten out for over 132 days so we reserved today for a lunch together at our favorite restaurant at meherchan market around 14 kilometers away and 27 minutes drive we ordered our favorite ragi roti and madaki dosa followed by south indian coffee divine as usual especially after such a gap we prefer to go further till kanot place and took a longer route to go to our next destination for the day if one has seen delhi early in the morning he will vouch that it is by far one of the loveliest city in the world now with the people not rushing out and monsoon at its prime the beauty of delhi is absolutely breathtaking let's soak it in as much as we can we are driving through shantipath now we will be heading southwards again to chitranjan park the last part reserved for today is family gathering but there is more to it that we will witness there only so here we arrive at h block chitranjan park i am very very eagerly looking forward to what we have come here primarily for you remember we talked about life continuum yes we are going to witness it right in their balcony where birds laid eggs and now hatch to give rise to new life needless to say that the family union was great as it happened perhaps after over 2 months it was quite long overdue it is just past 9:30 and we are going to be heading home and we have a lot to think about the day and of course the take away for the evening the life in a day defines enormity of whole life thanks for watching and we'll come back to you after exactly one year 1st of august 2021